hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core web application how to upload multiple files into a project root folder and here we got the final output notice the header tag upload multiple files into project folder ASP.NET Core MVC tutorials now the my first condition if a user clicks the button control upload files without selecting any files upload files so here we got a message please select at least one file is a validation error message now let's choose a file I'm selecting the files from my desktop the file names is a coding checklist box transfer uh, I'm selecting different files and text text file also and one GIF image click open I've selected six files now before upload the files let's check in our project folder open solution explorer notice in the files folder right now it's empty let's upload upload files see here we got a message the selected file 6 is saved successfully let's check here notice here the files let's expand this folder see here we got all the files the selected files are uploaded successfully in this files folder that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET Core web application. Go to File, New, Project and from the projects, I am selecting ASP.NET Core web application. Click Next. Let's add the project name, Upload multiple files core MVC application and I want to save this project in the drive tree in the project folder then click create let's select the ASP.NET Core MVC template which is a model view controller after that I'm using the ASP.NET Core version is 3.0 then click create and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer first in this project I'm adding a folder in this www root folder I click the root folder www root add new folder and the folder name is files and the folder name is a files I want to save the files into this folder after that after adding a new folder the files next let's add a controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting MVC controller empty add controller name is upload files is the controller name add and here we got our controller upload files now in this controller let's add the required namespace for this applications using Microsoft dot ASP.NET code dot HTTP namespace and the next namespace using microsoft.asp.net code dot um, hosting package after that let's add the IO namespace using system.io namespace after adding these three namespaces now in the controller private read only let's add the uh, interface iweb host environment 
the iWeb host environment, if you are using the version 3.0, ASP.NET 3.0, use iWeb host environment. If it's a lesser version, use iHost environment, iHosting environment. But the iHosting environment is deprecated in ASP.NET Core 3.0 version. So I'm adding iWeb host environment. Let's add the web. Then let's create the constructor for the controller uh, CTOR, which creates a constructor. Let's add this interface here. underscore web is equals to web now I'm creating the another HTTP post method we are posting the data so HTTP post method public async task I'm adding I action result the T result is I action result and I'm adding the method name index. In this index method, I'm adding, I want to upload the files, so I require the iPhone, iPhone file. I require the iPhone file. Let's create the object is files upload. my aim is I want to upload multiple files so let's add an array after that if a user clicks a button control without selecting any files I want to display the validation error message if files upload double equals to now or files upload double equals to zero which means here the if condition if a user clicks a button control without selecting any files through browser the file upload controller I want to display the message for that I am adding view data message I want to display please select at least one file if a user selects a file or more than one one file I want to save those files into a project files folder else part In the else part I'm adding for each loop for each loop I found file IMG is an object in files upload variable save image is equals to arc dot combine method in this combine method the parameter is a string path underscore I'm adding the interface object name dot web root path which is the www root the path name is comma and second path 2 is the double quotes I'm adding my uh, file name which is files comma then the parent string path image dot file name variable file selected files is equals to new file stream
save image comma file mode dot create met create property select all after that i want to save the selected files into the project folder files folder i'm adding a right i am g at this object name dot copy to async method in this copy to async method i am adding files selected files files selected method and then i want to display the message i view data message make it capital m is equals to the selected files plus plus here i'm adding files upload dot length property is in the return view return view method that's it we have added the code to insert multiple selected files into the project root folder now we require the view page of this index view method now we require the view page for this index action result So before that, let's build the application first. Build solution, and the project is built successfully. Let's close this output message box. Now, select the index action result method. Right-click the mouse, add view. The view name is index. The template. I'm not selecting any template. Click add. And here we got the view page of this index action result. First in this view page, I'm changing the header. Upload multiple files into project folder. ASP.NET code, and we see tutorials. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding the form tag. And now, in this form tag, I'm adding um, form tag. I'm adding the method pro. attribute which is a post and uh, the second one encrypt multi part form data next add the asp controller our controller name is upload files let's add that one upload files next our controller uh, the next one is a action name which is a index the action method name is a index this one and then i'm adding input type is equals to file and uh, the name property is equals to here the name property we have to add in the index view method the files upload object let's add that one here and this is a most important step when we want to select multiple items from the file upload controller we need to add the property multiple after adding the file upload controller next we require the simple uh, button control input type is equals to submit the type of the button is submit and the value which is a um, that button name i want to display on the button is upload files upload file 
elements. Let's close this element. After that, add the horizontal line. Now below the horizontal line, I want to display this view data message. Let's copy this view data message. If the user clicks a button control without selecting any file, I want to display this message. Please select at least one file. If the user select one or more files, I want to display this message. So here let's add, uh, I'm adding h uh, to tag at, I'm adding view data message. That's it, we have done the complete coding part. Now before run this application, the most important, we have to change the controller name. For that, open solution explorer. Now in the project, there is a startup.cs file. Open that one. Come to the bottom, and notice here the controller name is a home, which is a default one. Let's delete that one. Our controller name is upload files. This is the controller name. Just copy this controller name and add here. And the action method name is the index only. This page only. That's it. Let's check the output. Browse with. I'm selecting the browser Google Chrome default. Set as default. Click browse. And here we got the final output. Notice the header tag, upload multiple files into project folder, USP.NET Core MVC tutorials. Now the my first condition, if a user clicks the button control upload files without selecting any files, upload files. So here we got a message, please select at least one file. It's a validation error message. Now let's choose a file. I'm selecting the files from my desktop. The file names is a coding checklist box transfer. Uh, I'm selecting different files and text text file also and one GIF image. Click open. I've selected six files. Now before upload the files, let's check in our project folder, open solution explorer, notice in the files folder, right now it's empty, let's upload, upload files, so here we got a message, the selected file 6 is saved successfully, let's check here, notice here the files, let's expand this folder, so here we got all the files, the selected files are uploaded successfully in this files folder. That's it.